So the Whipple's triad is actually like a combination of different symptoms, okay? And these symptoms are linked to hypoglycemia, all right? They are linked to what? Insulinoma. You know what is an insulinoma? Insulinoma is when there is a pancreatic tumor, so it's affecting the beta islet cells. So now there's too much insulin production. I know the action of the, the you know the role of insulin to act on glucose to break down glucose for use. So now too much glucose will be broken down for use. Then to lead to what? Low levels of glucose in the body. Okay. So the Whipple's triad is basically what? A combined, well, I say combined symptoms for this thing. Okay. So Whipple's triad is a collection of three clinical findings. Which are characteristics of what insulinoma, which is a rare pancreatic tumor, leading to too, too much insulin produced, leading to what low levels of glucose, right? So, what is the component of this Whipple's triad? There will be symptoms of hypoglycemia, like what the patient to be confused, be disoriented, will be sweating, we have tremors, be feeling hungry because the glucose is broken down, there's no energy, then there'll be weight gain. Then there'll be low plasma glucose. That's when you do a test to check for the plasma, for the glucose levels. You find out that it's less than what, 40 milligrams per DL. Then um, relief of symptoms with glucose administration. So the patient's primary problem is just glucose. If you give them glucose, they'll be all right. Okay. So once you administer glucose, the things will be, will be resolved. So let's look at this triangle, which is a triad. In Whipple's triad, there's signs and symptoms of hypoglycemia. If you administer glucose, everything will get resolved. And if you check for plasma glucose, it is less than what? Here they said are less than 40. Here they are saying less than 54. Well, I think um, which one should we go with? You could just still go with this one. For non-diabetic people, it should be less than 54. For diabetic people, it should be what? Less than 63. All right. So, um, what are the diagnostic criteria? If you have a documented hypoglycemia, if symptoms are consistent with hypoglycemia, that's the patient is having all these symptoms, then if all those symptoms are resolved, once you administer glucose, then you know that what you are dealing with, Whipple's triad. So, clinical significance, if you confirm that there's Whipple's triad, it confirms that there's what? Insulinoma. All right, then it can help you distinguish insulinoma from other causes of what hypoglycemia. It can guide treatment decisions. What are the various diagnosis texts you can use to now know all these things? Confirm all these things. You can do fasting glucose tests, insulin tolerance tests, glucose clamp technique, imaging studies like CT scan, biopsies, and the rest. Okay, so that's it for Whipple's triad.